Hi, this is Shahid Kapoor and you're watching me on Bollywood Hangama. We have with us uh, Shahid Kapoor. Um, Kabir Singh has uh, scored a historic run so far and it is still going on in the theatres and it's just uh, making records one after another. Shahid, a pleasure having you uh, on Bollywood Hangama and uh, huge congratulations. Thank you. I think the entire Bollywood Hangama team, uh, we are very happy for you. Thank you so uh, because much. Because we've seen your journey and uh, it, it feels great. How do you respond to this that uh, it's, it's taken a few years yeah. and uh, now you've hit the ball out of the park? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. A lot of my friends called me up and said, you know, we used to keep reading that why isn't Shahid Kapoor solo hero film doing 100 crores, this, that. And then when it crossed 200, they were like, I guess that's a good answer. But, you know, I never, uh, maybe I don't know what it is, but my process changed a few years back. Maybe because, you know, um, uh, it didn't happen like that. Uh, so to be able to improve myself and to be able to do better work, I am very process oriented. And I think a result is a byproduct of the process. So, um, as much uh, gratitude as I feel right now towards everybody who's loved the film, I mean, I'm still the same person. Yeah, I was the same guy in Bhatti Gul, I was the same guy in Padmavat, I was the same guy in Rangoon, I was the same guy in Urta, I was the same guy in Jabbi Met, I was the same guy in Ishkwishk, and uh, I'm the same person. So, I guess uh, the focus has to be on doing a better job as an actor with every film. Uh, what I'm very happy with Kabir Singh about is that I always wanted to be known as an actor who is also a star. I, uh, in the beginning, used to feel very claustrophobic when people used to tell me that, uh, you know, ye tum uh, dancing wali film karo, ya tum ye chocolate boy wali film karo. Uh, you know, I used to always feel that the actor in me used to feel very, uh, you know, disrespected. Ke, ya, there might be little more to me than just that. And uh, so I'm very happy that Kabir Singh was a performance driven film. Uh, you know, it needed to make people understand the character. It wasn't a, you know, typical, stereotypical hero. We're doing all nice things and that's why people think that, you know, this guy is so nice and so heroic and so lovely. Um, I've always felt that people should be nice in real life, you know. I think if you want to set an example, you should set an example with your children, with your family, with how you are in your personal life, the choices that you make. You can't be setting an example as an actor with how you should be. Uh, the example that you set as an actor is how good you are at your craft and how much you are ready to do uh, to be able to deliver what is required from the director. How much you are ready to do to convince the audience that you are that guy. You know, nice, bad, very good, small, big, happy, sad, whatever. So I feel that, that this film has, has, has done that for me. You know, I feel this film has, I always had this faith that someday I'll be able to do that correct film, which will, you know, because whenever I did films like Heather and Urta and all, you know, people used to always say, hey, are so good, but the numbers are not there. And I always used to feel that these characters can connect with wide audiences, you know. Mm -hmm. The subjects are a little dark, but the characters are not dark. The characters are not unrelatable. They just happen to be placed in films which are slightly restricted in their... Uh, reach and I also always used to feel that ek din wo time aega when the audience will reach that level of maturity when they'll reach that level of openness exposure uh, reality you know when they'll when they'll be craving something real um, I always felt that that would be the day I would be the happiest and uh, so I think Kabir is, has 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 done that for me I feel the nature of the film that it was and the kind of love that it has gotten is uh, it, it feels very, very special and I'm happy it happened with this film and not with some other film, actually. Alright, so I think we'll come to the real and the real part shortly. There's, yeah, sure. uh, there's a lot to be discussed. Uh, but let's, I think, uh, stick to the, uh, the the records right now because I think they are phenomenal. It's a film that came with uh, regular rates. Yeah. No holiday. Yeah, I don't know how many people and, know uh, about that. You should actually maybe explain that to them because I don't think most people know. Anybody yeah. I've shared this information with has always been surprised. So I kind of realize that most people don't know that uh, there are so many factors that go into uh, the the numbers that we see in films, but it's uh, very important for them to understand. Technically, if, if we talk about that, so, uh, so far in India, Kabir Singh has crossed 270 net. Yeah. It has crossed the, uh, the footfalls of Avengers by Apparently, a distance. Yeah, even I was shocked. When so I Avengers, um, 
I think it's crossed more than 350 crores yeah. that way. So technically, if we see that, uh, if we if we keep that ticket trades apples into to apples, then yes. ticket trades into account, yeah. so it has uh, the, the numbers are are I think humongous. Yeah, it is uh, a film that has had uh, the highest footfalls in the last 25 years. 25 years, me, jo 25 film mein, jinke mm. sabse the highest footfalls in theaters mm. mein. So Kabir Singh is is part of that. Yeah. That's true. So yeah, so in, in Australia, it, it's crossed uh, one million dollars. Yeah, apparently that's the maximum. I, I, I don't think that many people would have felt that such a film would, would work maybe overseas, but it has. Yeah, I mean, people who think that they know how right. a film will do, right. where it will do, when it will do. I think those people are not living in reality because right. you have to confess that nobody knows what a film can do. And I think the last year has been such a huge learning experience for all of us yeah, to see the kind of films that are being loved and widely loved. Mm. And the kind of uh, subjects that are working are so diverse. The kind of protagonists that you're showing are so diverse. Mm. Um, the audience is actually uh, giving very clear messaging to the entire fraternity. And we all need to wake up and understand mm. that I am ready for something new. Are you ready to make something new that's good enough for me? So I think uh, the industry needs to brace itself and recognize that maybe we are stuck in our orientation, mm. uh, you know. And I don't think the audience is limited in their uh, in their likes and dislikes right now. I think they are very open-minded. Mm -hmm. I think if there is any lack of open-mindedness, it's within the fraternity. How important are the records for you, these, these box office numbers for you? See, the first thing uh, I felt was I just got very emotional. Mm -hmm. And uh, I felt very thankful. And I felt I didn't deserve it. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest about it. Because... Uh, it did too well, <laughs> you know, maybe, you know, your, when your films are doing 70, 80 crores or something like that, you're okay if a film does 120, 130 crores, yeah. Suddenly it does 280, 70, whatever the number is, you're like, what, how, what sense does that make? I'm the same guy, you know, I was the same guy yesterday, I'm the same guy today. How can it be such a big jump, you know? Yeah. So, you, you, you feel like, you don't feel like you did it, you know, you feel like it has happened to you. Life has given that to you. You can't take ownership of it, you know. I can uh, take ownership of some other films of mine and say, ha, mujhe pata tha, ye aisa hi karegi. Uh, you know, we all knew that Kabir Singh has a lot of potential. Uh, mm -hmm. I always felt that it was a very accessible film. Mm -hmm. uh, but then when we got the adult certificate, we all were like, abhi now pata nahi, because we had all seen that in an adult certificate, the maximum right. numbers that you can do will be in the 100 crore range. You can't go beyond that. And we all felt that this film had the potential emotionally to connect with people in a much wider, on a much wider level. And we all felt that maybe this certificate will restrict the film from a lot of people. Not that we had a problem with it. We understood that the content of the film was a certain way and probably the right thing to do would be to restrict it to a certain audience. Mm. I still feel that we need to really grow up and start having a certification system which is more up with the times. Because, you know, you watch internet and some five-year-old kid has an iPad in front of them and they can go and access anything, mm -hmm. at least you should have 10, 12, 15, 18, at least those kind of, uh, you know, certifications are required. We cannot be this, either it's above 18 or everybody, you know, nahi hona there has to be a slightly more evolved way of uh, creating certification, but that's the way that it was. And uh, so, yeah, we didn't expect uh, these kind of numbers. Um, so I feel very happy and grateful and thankful and, and very humbled and like I feel like a nobody and I don't feel I deserve this much love and uh, yeah man. Tell me about uh, the journey once the movie releases, mm. the first day. Obviously the uh, before and itself um, there were reports that the way the advance booking is, something like 15 yeah, crores do. first day will be there. So the advance bookings, the way it happens is there are comparatives to other films. Mm -hmm. But the problem with advance bookings is that it's very limited only to the multiplexes. Yeah. So you don't really understand when you have a release which can cater to a wider audience, which yeah. might be the single screens. Mm -hmm. You don't really understand at that scale how the film is going to open. We don't have that much information yet. Uh, so we had information in multiplexes and we knew that we were very big in, the, in our advanced so book. Basically, my saying is that, um, so there was this thing that uh, yes, we're the really expectations well. are there and, yeah. and people are going to come to the theater, theaters. Yeah. That is something that you knew on, on a Thursday itself. We actually felt that uh, with the first teaser also. Uh. We, the kind of feedback that we were yeah. getting and you know, with many films, uh, you know, certain uh, units work, certain units get an average response. So you get a sense because you put out six or seven units when you market a, a film. There was no unit that we put out that didn't get an extremely positive feedback. Right. 
so we kind of knew that this film is is you know it's it's grown very positively and people are really taking to it right. and and they are appreciating everything that's coming from this this film so we had a positive feeling yeah so uh, first day is there then first second third like friday saturday sunday yeah. i think fourth everyone is sad crazy now day. the fourth day is something <laughs> that is like a 17 crores plus <laughs> yeah, now that is something that was the number i think came in the that in the evening I, monday evening and like it was like what is this man? that was the day i sat down huh. i was like oh shit man this is not just a super hit film you know it's it's yeah. it's looking like something uh, which is going to be path breaking and which is going to break all norms because we knew adult film hai we knew 210 rupees ka ticket rate hai 210 ka hota hai 240 ka hota hai 300 ka hota hai usme bhi ye division hota hai ki aap kitne din apna ticket rate 300 pe agar aap rakh rahe ho to kitne din rakhoge kuch filmon mein do do hafte raha hai तो उसकी वजह से नंबर ज्यादा एस्केलेट होते हैं okay. हमें पता था ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं था हमारा हॉलीडे फ्राइडे भी नहीं था नन ऑफ दीज फिल्म आर इन दिस कैटेगरी यू नो इन दिस टॉप नाइन टेन कैटेगरी ऑफ फिल्म्स नन ऑफ देम आर नॉन हॉलीडे रिलीजेस आई डोंट थिंक एनी ऑफ देम आर नॉन हॉलीडे रिलीजेस नन ऑफ देम आर अडल्ट फिल्म सो यू नो दैट्स जस्ट हाउ इट इज दैट्स जस्ट वट दिस फिल्म हैज डन दैट्स जस्ट हाउ मच लव the film has gotten man how do you respond to your fans uh, they've been uh, patiently with you since the longest they've period of time they've always been with me they've, they've been with they've you they've always been with me and the sort of uh, phenomenal uh, success that this film film is witnessing mm-hmm. i'm sure it must be like a huge shot in the arm for their devotion the most amazing thing about this film was that you know uh, i didn't need to promote the film after it released after point of time yeah. i didn't need to defend the film when things were being said about it mm-hmm. i didn't need to do anything people who saw the film were doing everything for me i felt like i'm just sitting at home and there's an army out there which is doing everything on its own you know and that just goes to show that people connected with the product mm. and they were very 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 strong about how they felt mm. and uh, so it was maybe the way kabir loves preeti is the way people love this film mm. something about it has made that connect with people like you said somebody one of your team people went and saw it three times back yeah. to back yeah, you know yeah. um that's in the, the first ma- weekend that's the magic of movies i've done mm-hmm. that you know i've gone and seen titanic back to back to back you know i've gone and seen ddlg again and again and again you know i've seen inception many times you know so there are some films which just they make such a strong impact that once is not enough and uh, i know very sh- very clearly that kabir singh is such a film because we know that there were a lot of repeat footfalls mm-hmm. that's also contributed in a very big ba- way to the numbers mm-hmm. people have wanted to see it more than one time and everybody every director every actor wants that feeling that people want to go and see it again because it's difficult enough to make them like it one time mm-hmm. and here people want to see it again so it's great interesting part is that um, there's so many things which are so unorthodox about the film mm. so i spoke to mukesh shabra and he said that uh, it has one of the most amazing chase sequences and the chase sequence is involving pushpa ji yeah. so <laughs> he told me that it's the most amazing chase sequence yeah bro <laughs> and that moment i think we can continue that chase sequence on bikes also people will still like it <laughs> pushpa ji gets on a bike kabir is chasing her seriously i think that can be like a web series or something yeah. like so the way that scene has been shot you are on one side of the wall yeah. and she is on the other side the way it has been shot i think it's hilarious that was a on the spot decision that sandeep made mm. he just said shayad you know we'll show her and tell and you'll feel ye bach gayi mm. and then we'll pull the camera back mm. and kabir like a panther will be waiting out there for her <laughs> so you know he just thought of it and we all laughed when so he did a rehearsal you know he did that zoom back thing and he showed us everybody the rehearsal and everybody laughed so we kind of knew that it's really going to work so that was a very spontaneous thing that happened on the spot mm. yeah this entire chemistry that you have with uh kiara i think everyone would want to see you guys uh, doing more films together yeah. as well and i think it's a it's it's like extremely passionate love story which, which is there as well yeah she is was the best cast mm-hmm. you know and she was just perfect for this role uh, the way she played the character the way her face and her personality and her energy the way she stayed true to the part didn't try to jump out didn't get bothered by the fact that there was such a strong persona and character you know on the other side who is so loud and so aggressive and uh, so i have always great appreciation and regard for people who do that because i did that very early in my career in a film called jab bhi main it took people four or five years to even recognize my mm. work in that film subtlety and all that but i deep down knew that i had done what the film needed me to do mm. uh, you know and over a period of time when i do other roles people will look back and understand because that tends to happen 
you know anything that's noisy seems to grab attention and i have never been a believer in that i i always believe that there is great power in silence but it takes time for the audience to absorb that and so it was amazing i think she's spectacular in the film mm-hmm. spectacular the film would be incomplete without kiara she's as much kabir singh as i am kabir singh because it's a love story at the end of the day mm-hmm. you know if you don't understand why kabir loves preeti so passionately you're not going to connect with his emotion the first impression that i had the moment i came out of the theater was that you give it your all you don't mm. hold anything back mm. it's very apparent that there's a burning ambition within you that and you you are willing to do all this really anything cool, uh, video of yours yeah. your your selfie video yeah. and you used exactly these words yeah. and i was smiling I, i had a big smile on my face when i was seeing that i was like i like those words those are such nice words no why i'm saying that is that any actor would think a few times before uh, going all out because so you 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 want all out so the reason is that it it's a character that would be judged people are a why? bit bit wary of of who of are we to judged. judge characters uh, we will why we'll do we judge characters <laughs> okay we'll, we'll we'll come to that as well but I the fact so is so critical when you see people in hollywood do these things wow 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 so brave somebody does it out here how dare you okay have a same standard no were you a bit uh, amused by the criticism that came your way See, we're doing this interview after five weeks of Kabir Singh. Okay, uh, the reason that I didn't do an interview for the last five weeks and why I have sat at home, I'm sure people must be wondering. Some people must be thinking, "Hey, he doesn't care. Picture hit hogi, usko kya farak padta hai? Log jo bolle bolle." Some people must be thinking, "Dar kya hai?" Some people must be thinking, "Pata nahi. Maybe he's moved on. He doesn't care what people say." It's not like that, you know. Uh, we make films with a lot of love and with a lot of passion, and we think a lot of times before taking up a film. and uh, we go through all the because at the end of the day it's i have to give one year of my life to it so for other people it's just a weekend conversation for the people who've done the film it's one year of their life you know so it's interesting when people who make weekend conversation over it uh seem to feel so much more of a sense of ownership on the film than those people who actually spent a year of their life to make it you know the reason i i didn't do any interviews earlier is because i felt everybody was very aggressive and i felt that was not healthy i didn't want to come out attacking anybody i didn't want to come out defending the film i wanted to speak about a film like how a film should be spoken about on merit uh you can have healthy conversations you know the beauty of art is that everybody can have a different point of view mm. and i told you okay man it's okay if somebody says i don't like this painting and it's okay if somebody looks and says wow man that's stunning and those two people should look at each other and say how dare you not like this painting how dare you say this is uh, you know a nice painting mm. they should shake hands and say okay great yeah maybe you will buy the painting and i won't and move on yeah you pay money to watch a movie you know you are not uh, put in a room where the doors are locked and you are forced that you must watch something which can damage you don't watch it it's as simple as that it's your choice to go and watch a movie and why do we market a film for 6 weeks 7 weeks so we can show the audience what type of product this is ye is type ki film hai ya ye us type ki film hai ye romantic type ki film hai ye daravni type ki film hai ye bahut sexual type ki film hai ye bahut action aur stupid nonsensical action type ki film hai ye stupid comedy type ki film hai ye bahut intellectual film hai bhaiya har dard bhi ho sakta hai ye sab aapko trailer se samajh mein aa jata hai na jab aap theater mein jate ho to aap paise deke apni choice se jate ho ki mujhe ye dekhna hai to audience to aise hi jati hai theater ke andar aur log hain jo jate hain because it's a part of their job that they have to give an opinion but the audience doesn't go like that they pay money and they go to watch something of the nature of what they want mm. now if somebody wants vanilla ice cream they go and ask for vanilla ice cream because they like vanilla they can taste that and say i don't like this vanilla mm. but somebody who likes strawberry ice cream is forced to eat vanilla ice cream and says how dare they make vanilla that doesn't make sense mm. i waited so long because i didn't i didn't want to defend the film you know because i didn't want to use the fact that i am a star to justify things i really wanted to use this opportunity as an uh, as an as a, as a experiment i wanted to sit back and i wanted to see this is what people are saying this is what certain people are feeling and there is i want to see whether the film can brave this storm i want to see whether the film comes out and eventually what happens with the film whenever i would go on twitter whenever i would go anywhere uh, whenever i would see some reviews of the film and i would see the comments below those reviews i actually didn't feel the need to do anything because i felt people were saying what they felt very strongly the only thing i was feeling is why is everybody so aggressive 
why can't we agree to disagree? So I felt that maybe when the film has done, and I, it's still in the theaters, yes, but it's done most of its work. You know, I mean, now it's just going to maybe a couple of more weeks or whatever. But that storm of Kabir Singh is now gone. So now I want to talk about it. Uh, now I'm ready to answer whatever questions. I'm sure you must be thinking, "Ye kaise sawalon ke jawab dega? Kab bolega? Ye sawal mat pucho." I have no problem answering any questions. Uh, I'm happy I'm on a neutral platform. I, I I'm happy I'm talking uh, on a platform where I'm hoping that the questions will be uh, balanced. They won't be uh, trying to create a certain narrative or have a certain propaganda behind them, because people watch movies. Just as movies, man. I mean, that's how I've grown up watching movies. I've seen people play complex parts, which might have so much negativity and so much positivity and so much grey in them, and I walk out blown by the performance, mm -hmm. not thinking, "Ye insaan aisa kyu tha? Arey wo actor hai. Sabko malum hai, am lai zindagi mein wo kaise hai? Yahan pe acting kar raha hai. Usko award acting ke liye milta hai. अच्छे कैरेक्टर को बड़ा अवार्ड मिलता है और बुरे कैरेक्टर को अवार्ड नहीं मिलता क्योंकि अगर हमने उसे अवार्ड दिया तो हम क्या एग्जांपल सेट करेंगे ऐसे अवार्ड्स होते हैं क्या और फिर मैंने कुछ ऐसे बातें सुनी कि हीरोज शुड बी लाइक दिस एंड विलेंस शुड बी लाइक दिस तो मुझे फीलिंग आई कि यार हीरो और विलन वर्ड तो तीस साल पहले डिस्कस होता था यार अब तो प्रोटेगनिस्ट और एंटेगनिस्ट की बात होती है यार और कबीर सिंह के अंदर कौन है एंटेगनिस्ट कबीर सिंह कौन है प्रोटैगनिस्ट कबीर सिंह ग्रे शेड्स ही इज द गाय हु द फिल्म इज अबाउट ही इज द गाय हु इज द प्रॉब्लम यू नो एंड एक्चुअली कबीर हैज ओनली वन प्रॉब्लम ओके देर इज नथिंग एल्स रॉन्ग विल कबीर ही हैज एन एंगर मैनेजमेंट प्रॉब्लम वेन ही गेट्स एंग्री ही मेस इज एवरीथिंग अप वेदर इट्स द लव ऑफ इज लाइफ वेदर इट इज इज फैमिली वेदर इट इज इज करियर whether it is he himself whether it is the bai whether it is the dog whether it is his best friend whenever he loses his temper he messes everything up otherwise there are a lot of positive qualities to the character it's great to make a film about a character and to share with people that one thing in extreme can take you down to zero and that's what his father says in the first line in the film that tumhara bhai bhai us zero ke bahut kareeb hai in the first scene in the film the father of the character says that your brother is as good as zero that's where the film starts from so i spoke to sandeep i asked him that do you feel that any of the criticism was valid if you're saying that he should not have slapped preeti i'm fine with that but if you say that how can he do it that is something that i don't agree with maybe i think what you are saying as well that you can't force certain things as well and he also said that uh, criticism is is criticism but at the same time you're not talking about so shai's tell me something you're not talking about shai's performance you're talking about Huh. I just want any, to ask you, before thing. we get to that part. Mm -hmm. I just want to mm -hmm. ask you. So, if Kabir hadn't slapped Preeti, that one thing Kabir hadn't done, would it be okay for everything else that he did? Everything that Kabir did, because he slapped the girl, you feel that that is unacceptable, and therefore Kabir is an unacceptable character. We want you to feel that. We want you to feel this is unacceptable. His behavior has gone beyond control. I cannot like this guy. I don't want to like this guy. That is why the entire second hour of the film is his fall. He is peeing in his pants in the interval of the film. But then it's being said that maybe he doesn't suffer enough, and he gets the girl as well. Who is anybody to decide that? Mm. My question is simple: Did he suffer? I think I, I personally felt he suffered, of the suffered film, a lot. Did he suffer? His entire lot, less, life, more, who a point of view? Goes for a mess. किसी को लगता है कि इसको और तर तो आप picture बना लो यार about somebody जो इतना ज़्यादा suffer करता हो फिर आप picture बना लो फिर आप review देना बंद कर दो then hum aapki picture aake dekhenge fir hame review ka mauka milega to aap itna you cannot take see what happened was na yaar ke i was also thinking ki yaar itna extreme aggressive kyu ho raha hai maine aise pehle dekha nahi kabhi itna aggression ek picture aayi thi sanju pichle saal aayi thi bahut achi lagi thi mujhe i loved it the character had all the same problems in front of his wife he is telling a random interviewer ki main 310 auraton ke sath soch chuka hu baaki mujhe yaad nahi वो ऐसा वो लेता है और गले में सोनम के डालता है और बोलता है तुम्हारा मंगल सूत्र जो पॉट का जो होता है एंड आई लव द फिल्म बिकॉज दैट इज द हेड स्पेस ऑफ द कैरेक्टर दैट इज वेरी वॉज एंड देफ इज बिहेवियर के नॉट बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड रिस्ट्रिक्टेड ही नीड्स टू डू वॉट ही नीड्स टू डू एंड यू कैन चूज टू से आई हेट दिस गाय आई सेट दिस आई पुट अ इंस्टाग्राम पोस्ट आउट एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई सेट इज 
actors have to be brave to make choices to play characters which are loved for their stardom and hated for their performance if you need to be hated as a character you must play that character there is no rule that that character has to only be the villain of a film he is a character he could be the protagonist he could be the antagonist you can walk out saying i hated that guy and i'll take that as a compliment because that means that my performance was so bloody good that you actually hated him because i wanted you to hate him at some points couldn't i have instead of slapping her pushed her or done something subtler couldn't that have happened why didn't it happen because we wanted people to dislike that guy at that time that's what complex characters that's what films which are not single dimensional they are meant to make you think that guy sitting in the audience when a girl stands up and says how dare he behave like this he should think that agar maine kabhi kiya to ye aise react kar sakti hai ladki it's okay it's a movie tomorrow lion king has come people will go and watch a very you know film about you know lions and simba and this and that and they'll come out feeling a certain way movies are meant to do that you wake up the next morning and you go and live life movies should have the freedom to do that the only way a society can grow in a healthy manner is if they agree to disagree i'm totally okay if somebody sees the film and says i didn't like the film i don't know why they made a film like this i don't have a problem with that but what people got upset about is when the same person said if you like this film na you're a very bad person how can you like this film who are you to judge what somebody can like and not like and how do you know what their reasons for liking it are also so i think the film got attacked by certain corners uh but at the same so when it released that happened it got attacked by certain people right in a very strong manner on the other hand it got loved by the janta in general and the audience you know i, I would probably think probably 99% of the audience otherwise it wouldn't go to this number right i'm guessing most people who see movies have seen this movie most right which includes men and women which includes youngsters and old people children aren't a part of that list but anybody who's 18 and above up till 65 70 could be a part of that list right almost all of them understood the film and actually loved the film for the film that it was for the music of the film for the performances of the film for the dialogues of the film for the relationship between the boy and the girl for the rawness and the reality and the honesty and the unapologeticness of the film they loved it for all those reasons right, right? right. then they were told that if you like this film there's something wrong with you so they turned around and told that guy who's telling them that that i think there's something wrong with you and then it just got personal it wasn't required if nobody had attacked the film i don't think viewers would have attacked them back so if there was a slightly more subtle balanced kind of a point of view that was put out there which is totally fair you know and i'm happy to hear different point of views um, nobody is always right uh, then i don't think the response would have been that aggressive were you a bit disappointed the way um, your director was attacked it seemed as if like he's a criminal or something of that sort And, I think the uh, film was one, attacked. One, yeah, and, and I think uh, he he has conceived the film, so yeah. obviously he would feel that he was personally attacked, mm. and he did come out and give an interview and expressed whatever he felt. Mm. In fact, I tweeted that interview also because I wanted people to hear his point of view. It's as simple as that. Do you feel that uh, in future, you've, as I mentioned in the beginning, that you have this ambition and you go all out for a character and whatever mm. is required? After the sort of criticism that has maybe has come this mm. in this film's way. would you be a bit, bit conscious uh, while while choosing character ek word bada bada bar bar aaya is film ke andar misogyny oh mere understanding mein that means a person who's prejudiced towards women but when i played the character i felt that kabir has a problem with everybody he has a problem with his father he has a problem with his brother when his brother comes to me he says mera ghar hai you get out uska dost roz uske paas aata hai wo usko gaali deta hai uska badtameezi karta hai you know सब चीज उसके साथ करता है प्रिंसिपल उसका प्रिंसिपल के साथ जो डीन था कॉलेज का उसके साथ प्रॉब्लम है उसको अपने दोस्तों के साथ प्रॉब्लम है उसको वो अमित कैरेक्टर के साथ प्रॉब्लम है उसको अपने आप से प्रॉब्लम है अपनी शक्ल देखता है तो भी फ्रस्ट्रेट हो जाता है वो उसको सबसे प्रॉब्लम है तो देन हाउ इज इट ओनली टूवर्ड्स वुमेन यू नो आई नेवर फेल दैट ही हैड अ इशू टूवर्ड्स वुमेन अलोन यू नो आई माइट शेल प्लेड द कैरेक्टर यू नो बट आई नेवर सॉ दैट एट ऑल as a separate part of his personality i felt he was behaving badly across the board uh, and that's why the word anger management and that entire conversation uh, about is gusse ko lekar tum kya karoge kabhi and he says i am not a rebel without a cause he doesn't even know what he's saying but at that point he is convinced 
डोंट वी फील लाइक दैट इन कॉलेज सो मेनी थिंग्स आई लुक बैक एंड लुक एट माई ट्वेंटीज एंड आई फील लाइक मैं क्या कॉन्फिडेंट था यार मेरे को कोई आइडिया नहीं था वो टाइम पे बट मैं बड़ा कॉन्फिडेंट था सो आई फाउंड दोज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स मिसप्लेस्ड एंड दै आई डेंट अंडरस्टैंड दैट बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू मी ही इज बैडली बिहेव अक्रॉस द बोर्ड ही इज बैडली बिहेव विद इज मदर ऑल्सो द वे ही टॉक्स टू इज मदर इज बैडली बिहेव ही शाउट्स एट इज दादी ऑल्सो यू नो सो Why is everybody only saying that he was bad with his girl? Are he is bad with his daddy, who is bloody to to his father's mother, and he behaves badly with her. He talks rudely to her, you know. But she still loves him, so that's life in relationship. I think Kamini Kaushal, yeah, I think she is she she was outstanding. Yeah, she was she was amazing to have her. Mm. It was just amazing to have her as a personality, and and she has so much warmth and so much dignity that I don't. Uh, I mean, we were very privileged to have her on the film. You've played a Heather. You've you've done Orta Punjab. Yeah. You played Kabir Singh. You've played several very very uh, unorthodox characters. You've yeah. played a Viva. I spoke to Suraj Barjatia ji a few days back, and he mm. said that that's his favorite film. So you've played all. As you said, when we met, you've played as well. While selecting your future films, would you be a bit conscious ki that maybe I'm character- liberated. If I ever had any doubts, I'm liberated. An actor has a relationship with the audience. That's it. If any actor had any confusion mm. about that. I feel that's it. It's between you and the audience. That's it. Honestly, that's the ground rule. That's the reality. Whether it sounds nice, it doesn't sound nice. I don't know. It's the truth. So I was reading one of the articles that was written about uh, Kabir Singh. I found that quite balanced, mm. and it said that uh, the writer went to a hall and and watched the movie after a few days, and he said that uh, he felt that maybe uh, too much of hangama is being created and uh, an observation that he made was uh, that the number of women in the audience outnumbered the men i'll tell you a story 5 6 days after uh, uh, kavi singh released i had my office is 5 minutes from my house mm-hmm. and it's on the second floor so it's in the b wing so i have to walk through and there's usually these seven eight aunties who have their evening session out there you know they're just sitting chatting they're all in their mid 40s 50s kind of aunties and you know so i was got off my car and i was going into the lift and one of them called me shahid can you come here please so i went back said ji there were about 10 of them they all looked at me and said we saw your film and we loved it and it was so weird that it came at a time where they, i was reading so many things about the film and uh, more than that what can you ask for it immediately gave me so much clarity people are seeing the film in context they are seeing the film as a film they are walking out saying either i like the film as a film the performances for what they were so they are discussing the quality of the product they are not discussing the nature of the product that is the prerogative of a filmmaker what kind of film he wants to make it is the prerogative of the audience to decide whether it was a good film or a bad film or is the kind of film that they would even be interested in or they wouldn't be interested in and that's come to the music because uh, surprisingly uh, in all this craziness people not really explored the um the things that people no, are no. loving a lot reviews didn't talk about the music of the film they didn't talk about the performance in the film they didn't talk about the screenplay dialogue nothing nothing let's do that let's nothing do. no but my point is do your job that's what you're supposed to do you know of course you have a 10 minute window to express your views spend 5 minutes ranting and saying this is a rubbish film no problem spend 5 minutes giving dignity to one year of work that people have done you have spent 10 minutes on the film that's your job somebody spent a year say you didn't like it you cannot not acknowledge it you cannot not address it that is why people have gotten angry with them and that is why for the first time in movies that i remember the reviewers have been reviewed by the audience <laughs> it's true okay yeah it is see it we is. get reviewed every friday mm. faridun you don't somebody else doesn't every friday the actor and the filmmaker get reviewed by the audience ke tumhari film achhi thi tumhari film kachra thi if they say we didn't like your film we have to put our head down and go back to the drawing board and say man we must have done something wrong so shouldn't anybody whose opinion is being questioned also ask themselves that maybe my point of view hasn't connected or maybe it was a point of view of the minority or maybe maybe i am overreacting or maybe i might be wrong also you know unbelievable but maybe i am wrong 
because we are happy to accept that we are wrong every friday because whether you like it or not you have to because the audience writes it for you right out there you know that's the nature of movies so it's okay it's okay i mean i have done i have given more flops than hits yeah you know i have given more flops than hits i have to go back i have to say okay i messed up let's try again let's learn from our mistakes that has to be the attitude no let's quickly maybe talk about a few things like music for example i thought the the, the camera work is excellent i love that portion when uh, when after all the mess in the second half when you just shave and you're on the bike i thought it was presented beautifully yeah. so let's talk about the music let's talk about the the, the technical aspects yeah ask me i'll tell you yeah so music uh, the way the response has been i think uh, rarely we have seen such sort of crazy response for for a music the way it is for, yeah. for this one Yeah. Ashwan Khurana has done a cover of Pe Khayali. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, even you did uh, yeah. one of the songs. Which one did no, you do? I did for Kaise Hua. Kaise Hua. Correct, correct. No, I love all the songs in the film, yeah. And I think uh, all the music directors in the film, whether it was, uh, you know, Vishal or whether it was Mithun or whether it was Sachet Parampara. Mm. They all uh, apart from Mithun is more established maybe, but the other two are largely new. And uh, every song, mm. you know, was something that first I like you know bekhali and bekhali is my favorite i have to be honest that mm. will always be my favorite from the film because it was very close to kabir's character and it was very close to from my point of view the core of everything that kabir is feeling you know bekhali is is probably the feelings that are float, floating around in, in his system uh, along with the alcohol and the other stuff that he was doing those are the kind of things and thoughts that were floating around in his system that would come out uh, at different points in time out of context for no reason and that's why he would behave the way that he behaves because he doesn't he he's feeling too many things and he doesn't know how to detox and throw it out of his system so he ends up doing it with people which is not really nice behavior um kaise hua again was a wonderful song mere sonia re is 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 one of my favorites because i love the fact that the film finishes with something so soulful and so nice and pehla pehla pyar was nice kitna chahne lage is a is a very soulful song so mm-hmm. So yeah, so it was a fantastic album. It's fantastic mm-hmm. album. Camera work. Santa, who uh, did uh, this film, is is a really young boy. He's Ravi K. Chandra's son, and uh, this is, I think, his third or fourth film. And uh, he did a, you know, the best part about it was that we kept it very real. You know, mm-hmm. at no point was there some backlight happening and some soft filter happening and something happening to make it look better. uh sandeep was very clear that he wanted it just to be as it was like if you enter a college i don't want to change much you know so i think that's very uh, difficult for a cameraman to absorb because you know his role is to go out there and make it look as good as it can yeah. sometimes that's not the requirement of a film yeah and so he i think santa was the most i think he had the best attitude uh he made sure that he did what was required you know he made the actors feel comfortable he made the director feel comfortable and uh and yeah he did he did exactly what sandeep wanted him to do mm-hmm. and i think as a dop that's the most amazing thing that you could do you submit yourself to the filmmaker's vision and you go with it supporting star cast everyone wants a friend like <laughs> shiva <laughs> shiva shiva everyone wants a friend friend like shiva yeah 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 i know but uh, i don't know how many shivas are out there man i guess for every kabir there's a shiva but maybe there's not so yeah but amazing character very very good performance very uh, difficult role for mm. somebody who's so new ji but uh, bahut acha kiya so humne and uh, he was very nervous actually the response he got to the film he was shocked for some time yeah. because he was very nervous whether it came out correctly or not because mm. uh, you know uh, on set you know it's always you want more you want more and sandeep always pushes his actors Uh, so i don't think he felt ki maine kuch kamal kar diya i felt i hope i have not screwed this up but when the film released and i remember when i also saw the film for the first time i just saw it and i was like this boy has done such a good job and uh, he's he's actually probably in the film as much as preeti's characters yeah yeah if not more maybe you know mm. so uh, he was very integral to the film and it was a very difficult role for him to do because even in the original in arjun reddy the guy who had played that character was mind blowing um so i'm very happy for him i'm very happy for him and uh, I hope he does really good work because he's very talented. He's got a good attitude. He was very humble. He put his head down and he just kept working hard. And today he's enjoying. Suresh Obroya ji, Arjun Bajwa, yeah, Nikita Datta who's yes. uh, there in the second half. Yes. So, so like to. Uh, Suresh ji, it was a privilege to have him. Um, it was very easy to do those scenes with him because I had that kind of uh, energy with him because I have a lot of respect and regard for him. I've seen his work, appreciated his work. 
and uh, so my favorite scene is that scene where that private space 90 degrees that scene you know <laughs> that's my favorite scene actually be, i should be saying my favorite scene is when he comes to meet the father again and says papa chalo chalte hai andar you know the, uh, the mandril wala scene i personally felt you know i i felt that that was a turning point yeah green is a character's that uh, was one of the first scenes we shot actually you know Achha. that was i think the second or third day of shooting okay so one of the first scenes we shot in the film probably the first scene we shot in the film before that we were just doing some montages and all mm. you know when he's eating his food and then he's walking around with the dog Jee. first couple of days we did that that was the first really talky day of the film but that's my favorite scene honestly is the private space scene because you know we shot it and in the original it had a few cuts you know uh, but in this one we shot it and you know sandeep said yeah very good then this that and then we were talking and we were like iske cuts nahi karte yaar isko aise chhod dete Mm-hmm. because you know when you see everybody in the shot how kabir is talking then how you know the brother is watching and then how the father is reacting when you see everything simultaneously it reminded me of those many weird situations that might have happened in all our lives with our family you know and it brought out the difference in personalities and the you know that awkwardness which is there having such a conversation with yeah. your family yeah. it's very awkward you know Uh, so I think all that came out really well. So I remember laughing really loudly when I saw that scene and telling Sandeep, "Ki yar, ye best hai yar. Isko kuch nahi change nahi karte." And Sandeep was also laughing, and you know everybody was really happy with that shot because it's actually one shot. Now the whole yeah. scene is one shot. There are no cuts in that scene. Right, right. Uh, so okay, and uh, how do you rate your performance? You know, personally, I feel that uh, apart from so many nuances, what what you've done, uh, uh, there's a style that you brought to the character, mm-hmm. which I think is something that I personally I feel is connecting a lot with the. With the youngsters, even just the way you say it, you know that six years. So the way you, me and Sandeep, in between discussion, I was doing this, he was doing that, I was doing that, I was doing that, I was doing that. Some confusion was there. He was very particular. Like, how should it be? How should it be? I was like, but how should it be? How should it be? What's the difference? Same thing. Right. You know. So yeah. No, but the way you are saying it, I think he is also excited. And even he feels like, you know, he feels like he is a dude. Yeah. When he is playing a band, then he comes to understand that I am no one. Correct. You know, if you don't show him like that. then when in the scene when he tells his brother ki mujhe apne bare mein ek hi cheez achhi lagti hai meri baat i'm good at what i do i'm a good doctor aur aaj maine apne patient ka trust bhi break kar diya i don't deserve to be a doctor you need to see that guy there to see him fall like that hmm. to understand that you can't have that attitude otherwise life brings you here you know that's true that's true. so it was required to play it like that it was required to push this guy up and up and up so audience feels wa 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 and then make him crash like that otherwise you can't hit hard how do you make the audience you have to ask yourself these questions you know mm. do i want to be this guy how do you personally rate your performance well i'm guessing i got something right <laughs> cuz people seem to really like it and uh, yeah it was a really tough role you know mm. so i always judge my performances based on how nervous or dif- tough it was for me to do that role um sometimes things are uh, exciting but they might not be very challenging mm. uh, but this was definitely one of the most challenging characters i i i wouldn't usually wouldn't rate myself but yeah, i guess people really liked it so i was mm. decent a friend of mine uh, his name is fennel seta so he wrote okay. wrote an open letter to you recently i've read everything you read, <laughs> read so i just uh, take a few lines from that letter so he said that before the release of r rajkumar you in an interview to bollywood angama had mentioned how luck has not been on your side mm. it was quite a confession and my heart went out to you <laughs> today with kabir singh luck has come on your side and how now that it, that it has happened please maintain this super stardom and come up with lots of more entertaining and pan india films very good just teach me how trust me audiences are ready to accept you with open arms and the day is not far when even your posters will be garland garlanded on the first day of your films release ye marne ke baad hota hai marne se pehle nahi salman jaisa salman and marne se pehle aapke upar haar lagate the rajni rajni so most people would be very offended ki main zinda hu yaar haar kyun laga rahe ho so this this happens for salman khan movies i don't know rajni khan movies i don't joke so i don't take those things i don't take those things seriously man i mean i'm not here because i want people to garland me i'm here because i love movies and i i want to be able to challenge myself as an actor and i want to be able to make people laugh and cry and maybe 5 years later or 10 years later tell their son or daughter mm. you know hamare zamane mein ye picture thi mm. dekh tu you know that's how you build a uh, something which is worth having said that i dedicated my life to this ji so that's how you build that you know so you want to build a library of great movies 
I am happy without any garlands whatsoever. I'm not interested in garlands. I'm mm -hmm. just interested in working with great people and being able to bring alive some magical moments on big screen and turn back and feel that the opportunity that I got. Um, there's so many people who want to do this, man. So many people who want to be where I am, even before Kabir Singh, even before Ishkwish, just get the opportunity to be in a movie. Um, you want to do good onto that opportunity and you want to uh, look at yourself in the mirror and say, yeah, I gave it everything. I didn't take it for granted. You know, I didn't just waste my time lazing around or basking in success and getting lost in so many things that come with success like money and fame and this and that and whatever else that you might want to say. You know, that's it. Garland's name is not going to be Garland. Talking about the way the industry is looking at you right now, there are talks that um, you're being offered rupees 35 crores per film now. I have to sign a film for me to have received any money. I think the only people who are making money are uh, Bhushan Kumar and Murad Khetani. I have exactly the same bank balance I had before Kabir Singh. I have to sign a film. <laughs> only then I'll get paid, yeah. Okay, and uh, what about the, what is the next film that, that uh, we may possibly see you in? I don't know. Lots of I'm, talks. I'm deciding. Uh, I think I needed a little time to absorb everything. Mm. And uh, I needed to understand uh, how Kabir Singh has altered where I was. Uh, because it has. Not in terms of my process, but in terms of perception, in terms of positioning, in terms of expectations. Mm. I'm still the same person. Right? But those things have changed. Let me decide. I actually still don't know what, what I'm going to do next. I think a lot of people who want to offer me films are also not sure what they should offer me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 pressure Kabir Singh ke baad ye bana diya? <laughs> so I think But you having Dinko Ding Singh, that's something that uh, That's there, it needs to be written. And mm -hmm. uh, once it's written and the content is ready, only then we can get into other things. So it will be written now. now apparently so, there's a film with Ishan for, for Ram Advani. No, that's an absolute I'm glad you brought it up because there's yeah. no such thing on the cards. Me and Ram have met and he's a fantastic filmmaker and uh, Hope we work together at some point, but there's no film which me and Ishan are doing with anybody. Rumor. Finally, how's how's your family been in terms of response to this this film? How's uh, like my rock? My wife right. was like a rock. You know, she was the first person that told me to do this film. Actually, she was mm -hmm. like, "This is a film you should do." Uh, you know, and uh, there could be many reasons why, as a girl, she would not want to, but she saw it as a film and she felt it was a great character. It would be challenging to do something like that. And uh, so she stood by me even when, you know, actually I was really looking for one film before this film releases. That, yaar, ek picture release hone se pehle, ek picture to aadmi ke paas honi chahiye, agar nahi chali to kaam hi nahi milega. Exactly. Isme ek wo insecurity hoti hai, that very simple, thing, that's there and we all have it. I don't think anybody, many people might not say it, but I talk very honestly whenever. I, so uh, I used to keep telling her, yaar, mera ek picture to matlab honi chahiye, yaar, mere paas. K kaise hoga? And uh, she said, it's okay if you don't really love something, there's something special about this film. So mm. she was really like a rock in my life and uh, I mean, children are too young to watch this. Uh, family is always a support system. My mom is, uh, she loved me in Batti Gul also, you know, she loved me. In a lot of people did. Yeah, you know, but my thing is that she's always appreciative. Mm. She's always appreciative and because, you know, I guess mothers don't look at their children for one film here or there. They view them in a larger sense and, you know, so she's always been very positive and loving in saying that, you know, just keep doing good work. Um, dad is always a man of few words, but he hugged me when he saw the screening and said, Tumne bahut achha kaam kiya hai aur film hit hai. Baaki baad, baate baad mein karenge. You know, so with him it's usually that much only. Um, yeah, my team is there with me, who've been there with me all these years, whether it's, uh, you know, Everybody who's in my team and uh, it's a great moment for us because we have been doing this for, I've been doing this for 16 years and most people in my team have been with me for almost 10 years, if not more, uh, you know, so it was, it's our victory, it's not my victory, it's uh, their victory. They have stood by me when I've done trashy films and still come with the same expression on their faces, uh, with the same smile on their faces giving me the same advice that they might have given me before. So it's everybody put together. We've all done right. this together. Uh, you said something in the beginning, um, actor who's a star. Yeah. Is that something that um, stems from your father? No, not just my father. Because mm. I don't think my father is an actor who is a superstar. Mm. My father's a great actor, probably 
in my opinion, the greatest in the industry, but he was not a superstar. Uh, so the need to act, of course, comes from having seen his work because when I see his work, it's unreal, <laughs> mm. you know. But but uh, to believe that great acting can make for superstars, that belief comes when you see Dilip Kumar, when you see Mr. Bachchan, when you see uh, Robert De Niro, when you see uh, Jack Nicholson, you know, those people that you see, you understand that great acting can lead to highly successful films. Mm. You know, that route, uh, I have seen those people take and believe that maybe it's possible to try and play characters and, and, and become very successful at that and be loved on a wide scale for that. I've also done a lot of films where have, there was no sea of character also in the characters that I have played and I didn't enjoy it. I, you know, I really felt embarrassed sometimes that what I have done. You know, so mm. yeah. I think in the last few years, mostly, mostly what you've been doing, uh, the, the films, I'm sure that you must be quite satisfied with the work in the last at least five, five seven years. I'm never mostly. satisfied. Mm. I'm never really satisfied. I uh, always look forward to what's next. What's done is done. I actually get very disconnected very soon after I've done a film. In fact, sometimes by the last shot of the day, I'm disconnecting already. You know, so that's just how I am. I because I feel it's important to, uh, if you want to keep working and giving your energy over a long period of time, you have to know when to conserve, when to push, when to conserve, when to push. So thank you very much, and all the best. Thanks. Man. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's all we have from Bollywood Gama. Keep on watching. Hi, this is Shahid Kapoor and you're watching me on Bollywood Hangama.